Top 7 Largest Great White Sharks The great white shark is the third largest living species of the seas and also the most dangerous of all. Its hundreds of sightings generated debate about how big it actually is. That is why today we will show you 7 great white sharks whose measurements were certified by experts. Are you ready? Number 7. Shark of Ledge Point The great white shark, also known as the great white pointer, is responsible for the majority of shark attacks recorded against humans. However, we must know that the mortality rate is not so high for two reasons. First, that a person is not the ideal prey for digestion, and the second is that, in general, these predators interrupt contact for a period of time after the first bite, giving the victim an opportunity to barely escape death. Now, perhaps because of this, there are many voluntary and even involuntary hunting of large specimens. Like the one registered in 1987 in Western Australia. There, precisely at Ledge Point, one of the largest white sharks in history was trapped, whose measurement was verified by marine specialist John Ernest Randall. The amazing length of the shark was nothing more or less than 19.7 feet. Tremendous beast! Number 6. Mexican Shark In April 2012, two commercial fishermen named Guadalupe and Baldzar entered the Sea of Cortez in search of what they normally caught, such as sole or other types of fish. What they never imagined was that they would encounter a huge shark off the coast of the state of Sonora, northwest of Mexico. When they threw their nets into the water, surprisingly, a large white shark, 19.8 feet long, was caught between them. Fortunately for these men, the 2,000-pound heavy white pointer was lifeless. Very frightened by what happened, they decided to tie him from the neck to their small 22-foot-long boat and tow it two miles to the shore, where dozens of people finished helping to drag him to the beach. Finally, this specimen of white shark was cut into slices and, although it sounds surprising, they found two sea lions inside it. Undoubtedly, one of the most impressive findings registered to date. Number 5. Canadian Shark On a hot summer day in August 1993, Alberta native David McKendrick, along with his younger brother Stephen and his crew, fished near the coast of Prince Edward Island in Canada. Suddenly, 12 miles from the beach, the nets began to stir as if someone was trying to get fish out. A huge shark was stranded there. It was, to the amazement of all, a great white shark that unsuspectedly roamed those waters. According to Bedford's Canadian Shark Research Laboratory, the fearsome sea creature was 20 feet in length. McKendrick's impression was such that he did not even take a picture of the shark. Ignoring the magnitude of the feat, along with their team, they sold the 36-inch wide jaws with around 130 teeth to a museum in Miami. This due to the popularity of the shark jaws after the film Jaws. Then they buried the remains in a nearby gravel pit. However, being one of the few sightings around the Maritime Islands, two weeks later, he was unearthed to do some studies. According to analysis of the vertebrae, the specimen was a female who was only 19 years old. Quite young if we take into account that the Great Whites have a lifespan of between 60 and 80 years. Perhaps this did not help much to vanish the feeling of guilt of the local fisherman McKendrick, who in short is far from being a shark like the legendary Quint. Number 4. The Kojimara Specimen During the spring of 1945 in Kojimar, a town east of Havana that inspired Ernest Hemingway's work, The Old Man in the Sea, one of the greatest feats in the history of fishing took place. An unknown sea creature had been devouring the fish in the area, and so a group of brave fishermen decided to enter the sea to hunt. A little more than 10 miles from the coast, near the navigation channel to the Cuban capital, they deployed an artisanal fishing platform known as a longline, which is a line with buoys that floats freely in the water and from which hang baited hooks on cables of different depths. Did it work? Of course! The next day, something huge got hooked, and for two hours they had to fight hard to bring it to the surface. What they discovered shocked the entire population. The legend of a monster submerged in its waters was revealed as a gigantic 21-foot-long white shark. Truly impressive! 
And although the shark was captured and killed before the standard measures were determined, the length mentioned was certified by experts Richard Ellis and John E. McCosker, authors of the book Great White Shark. This photographic record allows us to observe its dimensions with respect to the people around it. A photo for history, no doubt. In addition, the creature also known as the Kojimar Monster, credit to the French newspaper Le Monde, had a 7,000-pound weight. And just to get a better idea, its liver alone shook the scales with the exact weight of 1,500 pounds. Amazing! Now we understand why it's said that the renowned film director Steven Spielberg had based his movie on the real measurements of this Cuban shark for Jaws. A fantastic specimen! Number 3. Australian Monster He is Vic Hislop, a controversial Australian man who has dedicated his life to shark hunting. Controversial? Yes, you heard it right. This is because he murders these marine animals based on his principle of, quote, saving humanity. Hislop believes that sharks have developed a true taste for our meat, product of the reduction of natural reserves. In addition, he stated that sharks are an error of God and that he is destined to correct it, eliminating them. And although it sounds a bit contradictory, Vic supports the protection of shark species that he considers harmless, such as the whale shark and the sand tiger shark. Now, if we could focus on what was perhaps the most significant feat in his history, we must transport ourselves to 1985, when the hunter caught a great white shark of no less than 21 feet long off the coast of Australia. Wow! In the image, we can observe the shuddering, bloody squalor, probably after struggling to survive, and a very proud Vic Hislop. Because of his experience in the sea, he is considered a legend in fishing, although many conservationists hate him. Number 2. Deep Blue In 2013, the images of this great white shark became viral all over the world. Therefore, because of its popularity, you should know that it is one of the largest specimens ever seen. Although it is not common to baptize marine species for the nuances implied by their captures, this specimen was named Deep Blue. Its big starring was during the filming of a Discovery Channel team for the documentary Jaws Strikes Back in the Mexican waters of Guadalupe Island in Baja, California. At that time, those who also accompanied them were the biologist Mauricio Hoyos Padilla and a staff representing Pelagios Cacuna a non-profit organization that is dedicated to marine research. The shark was tagged with a transmitter that made it easy to know its location and study its behavior. We can see that its presence was impressive not only to the fish around him that could be simple sandwiches for him, but also to the divers present. Although it seemed to be loitering peacefully in the area, you never know when these predators can attack. It made an attempt to bite and immediately one of the submerged men dared to touch its fin for 